Well, we're back here today talking about shotguns. I got Brock here with me. He's our local shotgun threading expert. There's really just been a lot of questions about, can you thread my shotgun? My shotgun's threaded, what can go on it? And all that's based off of our shotgun suppressor. Basically, how do I attach it to my shotgun? So there is a large variety of shotguns that we see out there. Um, short, long, medium, threaded, unthreaded, um, semi-automatic pump, break in half. So we wanted to have a video with you today to kind of show you some of the differences, um, ones that can be threaded, ones that cannot be threaded, and kind of some of the reasons why. So within the shotgun threading realm, if you're sending a shotgun barrel into us, you have a couple different options. You can do an internal thread, more of a conventional thread. Uh, the one that we offer for choke is rim choke, rim Winchester choke. Uh, so you can send your barrel in and have that done. Or your other option is an external thread. And this is offered in a 7.8.32, or you can get this in a 27.32.28. And I'll go into the details um, further on in this video about why you might select one over the other. So <clears throat> you're at home checking out your shotgun, you want to send it in to get it threaded. Can it be threaded? Yes and no. There's parameters and all kinds of things taken into consideration with that. But the very first thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at the OD of your barrel. This is important because when we are done with it, the thickness between the outside of your barrel and the tip of the thread in there can not be any less than 15 thousandths. If you go below that, you risk barrel blowout and all kinds of catastrophic issues. So, first thing you want to do, check the outside of your barrel OD. 850 thousandths is the spec that we are running with for, if it's any smaller than that, just don't send it in. If you are at 850 thousandths on the nose, the next thing to take into consideration is, is your inside diameter concentric to your outside diameter? It needs to be perfectly concentric because if you're off, say five thousandths of concentricity in there, now your wall thickness on one side of this versus the other is gonna be under spec. And again, that's a no-go for barrel blowout. Option B, do an external thread. As I said previously, these are offered in two different thread pitches and diameters, seven eighths and 27 30 seconds. Uh, the seven eighths diameter is, has applications that don't really deal with the thickness. Um, seven eighths is larger than our 850 that we previously stated, but if your barrel is under that 850, there's a lot of barrels out there we found that fall in that about 845, 847 class. Uh, they're just right under the cusp. So for those people, we'll put on a 27, 30 seconds by 28 external thread and install one of the external mounts. That's the best solution we've come up with for that. We also wanted to talk about part of the reason why we're going to external threads when possible for us, we really like that when you add the mount, you're not adding overall length. There is a small, what do you say, eighth inch? Yeah, 100, eight, 150 thou. Yeah, about 150 thou we're adding to the overall length. When we started threading shotgun barrels, most of them are reamed out and then tapped. That's kind of the standard way to put in a choke. We found that most tactical shotguns are not threaded and for safety reasons is really what the bottom line was. Uh, they're shooting buck and slug mainly. So they didn't want someone to put a full choke in accidentally. It may be banana pill the barrel. So by putting the external one on when possible, you're still, you still have that safety factor where someone can't put the wrong choke in and cause um, some catastrophic damage. So another question that comes up frequently when we're talking to customers about these is, um, can I just shorten back my shotgun barrel until it's thick enough? Well, the answer is all over the place. Right? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, no. External profiles on shotgun barrels isn't always like your grandpa's hunting rifle. Um, they don't always start out thin and slowly get thicker. Sometimes they are thick, get thin, and then get thick again. Kind of like this one here. This is a Mossberg 940 Pro. Has a very large profile here at the end, and then it necks down. So if you chop this down, you potentially could be too thin yep. to thread. Yep, correct. Some other things you need to consider about getting sending it in to get it, your shotgun threaded is, is your shotgun barrel chrome lined? If it's chrome lined, 
you're kind of you're kind of out of luck for doing the internal choke. Um, I know some guys out there have been rumored to do chrome line, but we aren't really willing to ruin our tooling trying to cut through that chrome. So, and this is also another instance of why we have an offering of external threading. So if it is chrome line, but we can put an external thread on it, it's a fantastic You're option good. for chrome line. And this Benelli here is another instance. We are currently working on a solution for this, but you need to consider things like a front sight, mag tube, mag tube cap, because as Jake mentioned earlier, um, our external mount sits down uh, 950 thousandths over the end of the barrel. And so if you have some of this stuff and you are serious about wanting it on there, these will have to be removed, moved back, relocated. Uh, that is an additional cost, so be, be mindful of that. So basically the end state here is you have a shotgun, it doesn't have threads. You want to put a JK Armament suppressor on it. We have some different options um, that can facilitate most shotguns out there to get you threaded and get a CRMD or an over-the-barrel mount on your shotgun and you'll be good to go.